Oh my, would you look at that cat. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, I forgot to film my intro in the car, but we are here today at Antiques Marketplace of Le Moyne. Super excited to be here. They just had a sale recently, so I feel like a lot of the vendors will be restocking their booths after the sale, but I'm hoping to find some goodies today that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Look at that beautiful Murano bowl they have for $28. Um, it's got Bolacante, silver, blue. For some reason, recently, I've just been obsessed with blue Murano. Um, it's $28, which is kind of at the higher end of where I'm comfortable, but um, I might grab that, I think. And I love that these cases are always open. I just noticed this. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? $12 vintage decorated gold brush Christmas tree. But it's like a cone. I really think that's adorable. And uh, $12. I feel like we could probably double our money on that. So I'm going to stick that down here. Any other time of year, I probably wouldn't. Oh, well, there's actually two of them. <laughs> Wait a second. Come here, you. This one is also 12. And I almost wonder if you could put one of those little tea light candles in here, the battery operated ones, because it looks like it goes through to the other side. I would probably light those up. That would be nice. Okay. Now for the bowl. Where is the bowl? Do we know where? Oh, the bowl is. Right there. Okay, this is going to be tricky. Are we going to be able to do it very carefully? Ooh, there we go. Okay. I got it out. $28. I'm really digging that. Okay. A little icy blue Murano and some sweet little vintage Christmas trees. I'd say we're off to a good start. Oh my, would you look at that cat. $95 signed art pottery cat. Oh my goodness. And this booth is 25% off. Oh, it's extremely heavy. I may need to set the camera down to pick this up. Well, admittedly, the lighting is not the best. <laughs> We've got our kitty here. Um, it kind of reminds me of Anderson Pottery. But it's a lot more detailed. There's the signature on the back. Let's see if I can look at it. Yeah, it is. I might not be able to see it there. I feel like this cat needs to come home with me, and whether or not he makes it onto eBay, I don't know yet. <laughs> Here is another beautiful piece. This is Fenton. This is not any Fenton I've ever seen. Oh, I love the iridescence on there with the flowers. They've got 70 bucks on this, and it is 25% off. I saw 40 over there, but um, that's the vendor number. So I think I'm going to take this. As, this is going to be expensive, but I'm going to take this as well. I'm not actually going to move the basket with these items in them, but I'll set them there for now. And him. <laughs> he is great. Italian pottery. It's a little tiger. Oh, is he not fantastic? $55 on that, 25% off. Yes. Look at his eyes, though. <laughs> I can't tell the expression on his face. He's like a little perturbed, maybe. So we will take him as well for the kitties today. And here we have this ceramic horse. And he looks like he could be something. There's no markings on the bottom. It's a very clean bottom. I just don't know. 
I get good feelings about him, but I'm just not confident. We've got a beautiful bowl here. Look at that sparkle. It is just absolutely massive. Usually I find these and they're a lot smaller. I'm not seeing any. Oh, there is an etching on the bottom. It's not scratches. It looks like uh, 15. Hmm. That's weird. That's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and you know, that's a really, really good deal for it. Because it's 25% off. At $40, I wouldn't be real sure, but look at that. I mean, I, I just envision this as on like a Christmas table with that copper. I, <laughs> I think I'm going to grab this. I mean, I feel like my shipping team is going to uh, moan and groan about it a little bit, but I can't pass that up. Especially at 25% off, so we'll grab this as well. And then we got to figure out how to get our little basket. <laughs> our basket is full. Here's some beautiful raku pottery. Let's see what the, there's, there may be a signature on the bottom at, under the felt. I do love that oily sheen on it for 30 bucks. But not being able to know who makes it. I just, I'm not sure about it. I've spotted the, the little ceramic tree. I'm not sure if this one would have had a base. It's only $17. They've glued in all of these little uh, beads and some are missing, but I feel like they could be replaced. Um, I don't see any discounts. It does say 20% off right there, but that's the only sign I see. So even at 17 bucks, I think I would still grab that. They're very super popular right now. Um, and you can really just put Again, a little battery-operated tea light in there. This is the booth where we got all the kitschy little Christmas figurines the last time. Daisy and Buttons shoe. Really nice stuff here. The last time I was here, I really had to go quickly through Kenny's booth because I wasn't on a time crunch like I am today, but I decided this time I would make an effort to get here before I had to leave. Kenny is constantly bringing in new stuff and building his booth upwards. <laughs> he goes up instead of out. So you always have to remember to look up when you're in Kenny's booth. Wow, I've never seen a complete bar set like this. Obviously, it's not something I would want to ship, but that's pretty impressive. $110. That is really neat. You've got all the liquor bottles here, and the enamel on it is super nice. A lot of the times it chips and starts to rust. You can see some oxidation here on the metal, but it's in overall good condition. And these flowers are interesting. $22. They're metal, like toll bear. I'm <laughs> just really digging that butterfly on top. They've got 22 on it. It looks to be in good condition. I'm not, I want to say it looks vintage. Whether or not it actually is, I'm not sure. But for only $22 that right in there. The last time we were here, <laughs> we pretty much bought a quarter of what was in that case back there. So I wanted to revisit this case and see what new treasures have been added. Look at that sweet little elephant right there. should check out that elephant. I can't remember if we looked at this before. It looks like they've got $15 on it. Hand painted. I can't make out what it says, but it does say made in Japan. It kind of reminds me of Joseph Originals. We've got Kemper. Kemper. <laughs> I keep getting corrected on how to pronounce this. 
I was first told it was Camper, now people are trying to tell me that's wrong. Um, this is $22 each. So $22 each, I don't think that I can do much with those. But we have bought and sold those in the past. Now we will venture down the ramp into this lovely booth that is 20% off. And see what we can find. Oh, I love that. It looks kind of like a lady, right? From Lady and the Tramp. They've got $12 on that. I could be wrong. $12 on that. I think she looks like Lady. So, I'll take that for $12 and 20% off. Well, that right there sure is interesting. It is $22. There's a bird, but it's not carved. It's actually, I don't know, maybe cotton? Maybe paper mache? It's definitely curious. Um, unfortunately, we're locked out. So if I run into somebody, I will try to remember to ask for a key. But I love birds on wood. <laughs> and um, that is a different kind of bird on wood. And it almost looks like he has googly eyes, but I don't think he does. Every time I walk by this booth, I am always drawn to this little girl up here. And if I remember, she has a repair on her neck. Yeah, and on her pigtail. I know I passed it up for a reason. Clay girl. Oh, she's marked in there. What is she marked? Hungry. Oh, I just love her so much. <laughs> I'm trying to rationalize it. Ten dollars. Every time I walk by, I feel like today I just need to take her home with me. She's very unique. <laughs> and I love it. You know what, I think she kind of reminds me of Pippi Longstocking with blonde hair. And I watched a lot of Pippi Longstocking as a kid. Today, you're coming home with me. Next, we're going to browse through this booth. Look, they have another <laughs> vintage apron here. I wonder if they have an endless supply of vintage aprons and if I just keep buying them off of the mannequin, they'll just keep reappearing. I kind of like the one that I got more though. It's red. I feel if I wore an, a white apron for that rare occasion when I do cook, um, it would be disastrous. <laughs> a fuzzy little owl here. I don't know what kind of fur that is, but it's very soft. Got some Russian nesting dolls. This one's got glitter on it. $47.50. We just saw one of these at Goodwill the other day. I was missing one of the little dolls, though. Oh, 74 on that one. These are very, very nicely made. I love the detail. And each one is hand-painted. Those eyelashes <laughs> on fleek. More Artisania Rinconata. I'm telling you, this booth is magic. You buy something and then it reappears. $30 on the little donkey. 25 on the little horse. <laughs> He's so sweet with that little flower in his mouth. And this booth is having a sale 30% off. I think I'll take them with me. I can't usually say no. <laughs> it's hard to sign your rinconata. And then we have a little Viking owl. This one actually has the original sticker on it. Price on that is 65 though. That's a reasonable price, especially 30% off with the original sticker. Oh, 
All right, well, our time is winding down. I think I'm going to take these to the front. And if I see anything on my way, I'll let you know. I don't think I've ever seen these before. Original, yeah, I can't speak German, but. <laughs> They've got 40 bucks a piece on those. I'm sure that's retail, but I've never seen these. I think this is something to be looking for when I'm out and about at the thrift stores. Well, last time in this booth, we found a little decanter of a man in a fez. And that was right before their holiday sale. They've got some nice red wares on here. It look like, looks like Fultz or maybe Brenninger's. Red ware, a folk art pitcher. Williamsburg. Oh, wow. That's a Williamsburg reproduction. Usually when we see these redware pieces around here, it's usually a uh, Foltz or Greininger's, and I'm sure I'm pretty mispronouncing that. So forgive me. Ooh, these. <laughs> I think these are those um, cups that Dagny has talked about before. Oh yeah. What? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to even do that. <laughs> um, but I feel like they do pretty well. This one is seven dollars, um, and those whole all those plates together are twelve fifty. Let me see if I can get these in my cart. Especially this time of year. Oh, those are little candlesticks for twelve bucks, and they all look like that same pottery, even though these ones don't have a marking on the bottom. Put them on here. And then these, are they marked on the back? Oh, I can't tell. They say West Germany, so I'm gonna assume that they are. And $12.50 for the whole stack, just in time for Christmas. Okay, I think I will. <laughs> this is a beautiful coverlet, 250 on that. All right, well. I think we're gonna head to the checkout now. All right, well, that sums up our trip here to Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. Our total spend here was $363. Um, we were on a little bit of a time crunch, <laughs> but I think we got some really great items. And uh, we spent all that money in just one hour. So I have to get back to the shop now. Andrew has a coin auction he is attending this evening and he has to go preview. So, I'm going to call it quits for the day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day, and I've posted a link to that down in the description.